Hi guys. So listen. Check the volume. Something just like... So... I don't know who this reading is for. Okay. But I know it's important. And it has to do with true love and not not accepting it okay um this back i'm in my room i was kind of just resting i got my um what's this called my uh i can't even think my head is literally with this this, with this thought but um my rock salt lamp. So, let, whatever the sh whatever they're trying to tell me, they're trying to tell me something that has to do with love. Okay, so let's let's get to the bottom of it. So, for whomever this con is concerned, okay. Um, I feel like I'm like in a diary right now. I feel like. Like, it's a love letter. I feel like I can't even explain it. All right, so we got the Asa, we got the Asa pen. So this talks about a new stat, like giving time, giving time to something. Um, <clears throat> all right, so it's the, the Ace, the Eight of Pens. So here's the deal. It's a coming up reverse. Okay, so this is somebody who's not giving, yeah, see the tower, and it's reversed, so all these are reversed, this is, this is somebody avoiding a tower moment, this is somebody avoiding a new stat, okay, this is somebody that loves someone, but is avoiding, okay, tell me about the tower, all right, yeah, see judgment, okay, so ace of pens, eight of pens, okay, so right here, this talks about you know nine of pens. We ha we have somebody who's confident. Okay, we got. But these are, these, I can read this both ways because the tower is reversed, and I know this has to do with love right now. So with the tower coming in reversed, okay, this is somebody trying to avoid judgment, and this was upright. This is and, and judgment can be reconciliation too. So this is somebody avoiding reconciliation. This is somebody avoiding owning up to the truth. Okay. Um, Someone is waiting on a message, okay? Um, we have the devil here, okay? So, something is toxic or was toxic. Somebody's sad. Somebody's stuck in the past. Somebody's clinging on to past emotions, okay? The tower really needs to come in and expose them, but they're not allowing it, okay? They're not talking, Um we got the Seven of Cups here, which speaks of confusion and offers, you know, opportunities. What do you want to take? But this person's not even looking at any of these opportunities being given right now, okay? Um, tell me about this Five of Cups, Five of Cups. So this is somebody in sorrow, okay? This is somebody that's lying to themselves right now, deceiving themselves with the, with the swords, okay? When it comes to this relationship, they don't, they don't want to come in and speak the truth, okay? Um, what's the truth? What's the truth? I don't know why I'm digging. What's the truth? All right. It's, it's, it's conflict. They're, they're juggling. Okay. Um, they just don't want to, they don't want to open up emotionally. Okay. Um, they don't want to express how they feel because they'd be opening themselves up to vulnerability. Okay, and they're just refusing to talk, okay? They're, they're refusing to open up and, no, go to bed. I love you. Go get in your bed. No, go get in your bed. I love you. Stop. Go to bed. Please. No. Because it's bedtime. 
I need to go to bed now. I know, so go. All right, so this is somebody refusing to have a new start because they don't want to emotion up. They don't want to open up to emotions, okay? They don't want to talk about things. Um, they're trying to avoid it, and it's just like a cycle, okay? They've been a cycle over and over. They've been repeating the cycle over and over and over. So this is somebody with all this conflict in the Five of Wands and, and the King of the, the, the Knight of Swords coming in. I mean, the Knight of Wands. This is somebody who in and out, in and out, in and out, and they're in and out, in and out, because they go through conflict, they go through drama, they go through all this, but to them, that makes them feel secure, okay, because they don't ever have to open up. If you're in and out, in and out of somebody's life, you don't ever have to tell them how you truly feel, you, you pick up and you leave, okay, not, not wanting to share emotions. This person is emotionally unavailable, okay. Um, but the thing is, it's like the universe is giving them an opportunity with a new stat, okay? And they're not, they're not putting any action into it. They're, they're sitting in, 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 in wallowing, okay? And, and dwelling on the past. And they, they don't know how to walk away from, from the past, okay? Like they're still, they're still reminiscing about the pain that either you caused or somebody else caused. Okay, and they're emotionally blocked, emotionally unavailable, avoiding telling somebody how they feel. Okay, the opportunity has been here probably plenty of times, considering you know they've repeated this cycle over and over and over. This is somebody you're dealing with, this is somebody yet, yet that's not opening up. If you're in a relationship, they're still not opening up. If you're not talking to this person, it was somebody who was in and out, in and out, in and out, because they would rather be that person than to actually put themselves in a vulnerable situation and tell somebody how they actually feel, okay? Um, tell me about this person that doesn't want to open up. All right. So we got the Ten of Swords reversed with the Three of Cups. I don't know if somebody's drinking a lot, but this is somebody who's not processing exactly what's happening right now, okay? Um, I got some more that fell, okay? We got the Chariot and, and the Moon, all right? Not, and they're both reversed. So this is somebody who's not budging right now. This is somebody who's, who's not making, the, this person is in denial. This person is in refusal. Refusal mode, okay? Tell me about the ace, the ace of pentacles. This person right here is literally has a brand new opportunity, all right? This can cup, so they got feelings for you too, okay? They, they don't want to open up. They don't want to emotionally open up right now, okay? It looks like possibly you might be dealing with the king of swords and they're, they're losing their patience, okay? Um, when it comes to this situation, but they don't, they don't know what to do. Yeah, see the, the emperor, they're trying to control it. Why? Because this is the way of, this is somebody who's trying to control the situation emotionally. Because, so they're coming off, like, strong. Like, they like they got more control than you. But in all reality, this person's weak. Because they're not stepping in. Because they don't want to face their emotions. So they're coming off as strong. And, as, like, they have the control. And, and they're, like, some authority figure. And you know, like, macho, like, I don't even, I don't even know how to explain this person right now, like, yeah, they got feelings, but they're not gonna tell you about them, all right, because this person that you're dealing with is in and out, in and out, in and out, because they'd rather deal with drama and conflict than to actually open up to somebody, this, this person's won't heal from the past, whatever's going on here, won't move forward in the future, okay, like, they're in the moment, but they're not living in the moment, and they're trying to control the situation. So they're, they're coming off as they have all the control in this situation, probably because you're waiting to hear from somebody, okay? It's like you're waiting to hear. This is how they're, like, triggering you right now. They're, like, they're seriously coming off as the strong one, but in all reality, this person's weak, okay, because they don't want to open up. They're... they're 
the weak, okay? And they're coming off as having all the control, all right? Like they think they control this situation and and they don't. This is the, They're going to repeat this wheel over and over and over until this person opens up. And this person does not want to talk about their emotions at all. This person is emotion, emotionally detached. And their way of controlling it is by making them look like they have control over the situation. But they have no control over the situation. Whatever it is they're dealing with, they don't they don't want to heal. They don't want to ex express. Like they don't want to feel that. Okay, so it obviously has to do with with some type of something that happened in the past. All right, this this person is not living in the moment, but is in the present moment, but would rather deal with drama and conflict. Okay, because that way they don't get hurt. Because that way they get to be in and out. That way they get to turn their back. Okay. They get to turn their back, but like, haha, like, I got control here. Mm, I don't know how much longer, buddy, okay? Because with the tower and all these other cards coming in, I mean, you straight up, you're, all these cards here, you're, you're straight up taking advantage. There, there's somebody who loves you that is waiting on you or is waiting for you to reach out or something, and, and you think you have all the control right now, or the person you're waiting on thinks they have all the control right now, but they don't, they're weak, and this is why they're not coming in. And they're giving you that persona of like, um, 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 this, 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 and this, and and that. Nah, they're they're in and out, okay. Because they don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to share how they feel. They don't want to express what they're feeling, okay. The that's it, okay. And the opportunity keeps it like. It's like the universe keeps giving them opportunities, but they keep repeating the same cycle. So I really hope if this is your scenario from whomever this concerns, you are not waiting around for this person because this person is definitely manipulating energy right now, okay? It, I, I don't even know if you're aware of this. And if you are aware of this, I really hope you're not holding on to this, okay? Like, we got the magician reversed with the queen of pence. So it looks like the queen of pence is, is not putting any more energy into this because she's done with the manipulation. Okay. So I just said that. All right. So that's good. Okay. Or it's saying this person is, is, is tricky and manipulative and, and, and is not putting the effort into you. But to me, this speaks to the woman and it's looking right down at all this stuff. Okay. So this is the woman that's not putting effort into this, not not manifesting what probably she was trying to manifest at one point. Okay, so this is this is somebody who kind of already let go and released. So I don't know if this is trying to tell me or trying to tell me to tell you guys that this is the person that's coming at you. I mean, I don't even have death on the board. Like, I don't even see a transformation. Okay, so... I don't know. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. King of Swords. King of Swords. King of Swords. Sorry. King of Swords. King of Swords. It's just the Knight of Swords reverse with the, with the Queen of Wands. So this is somebody resisting temptation. It's, it's probably the same person. I don't think there's two women here. I don't know how any woman is even dealing with this right now. If this person is sleeping with somebody, like, God bless this woman, okay? But to me, like, this is, this person's refusing, not talking to you, cut off all communication, like, not, won't even take, not even looking at temptation, like, Or he's pissed off that this woman that he's tempted by is no longer taking action, is no longer putting effort into this. Because coming up as the emperor in the knight in the king of swords, as 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 the knight of wands that's in and out, in and out, 
and then the king of and, and the king of cups can be very arrogant you you put this whole combo together you are totally dealing with somebody who is emotionally emotionally off balance like total detached not even detached from you detached from life but here's the deal this person I don't want you to think like this is something you did okay that I, I don't even think this has anything to do with you I think this person just thinks they have all the control and they don't they don't you know those those the ones who think they control things like that those are the weak ones okay like woman up or man up like you got love and it, it, what is the universe offering you got and it's already like the ace of pence i mean the yeah the, the ace of pence all right with the the um the the page of wands just just waiting to take action what are they what are they offering they're offering a new adventure uh a new start in in love with the with the ace of cups and the um the page of cups and the the page of wands this is waiting the universe is waiting you know like it, it's like their back is turned like waiting and offering like true love and they're waiting on this person to take action because this one's looking down and this one's looking over. So here's this one's looking down, like the action taker is looking down, and the page of cups is looking up towards the woman. So it's almost like the woman, although even though she stopped putting effort into it, it's almost like she's still waiting. And he knows, but here's the thing: I don't think she is. But this is how arrogant this is. The this this person that you're dealing with, this is how much control they think they have right now that they think you're still waiting for them. Okay, this is who you're dealing with. And the universe is is literally offering love. And this person is, is so focused on the past pain. No, like, does not, it, it's just ungrateful for this offer. Which is crazy because they got love for you all right but they don't want to put themselves in that situation where they're vulnerable or they have to open up or they don't want to feel love okay they just they don't want they don't want to very aloof very detached All right, the 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 six of wands, the hermit reverse, and the four of swords, four of swords reverse. This person is refusing to soul search. This person is refusing to heal. All right, this person's pride and ego is getting in the way of true love, of really going after what it is they desire because they don't want to feel the pain. They would rather be the knight of wands, in and out, in and out. They would rather deal with drama and conflict and chaos. All right, and. I'll hit this one up that week. I'll hit that one up that week. I, I like being in and out. I like to party. I like to say what I'm doing when I want to do it. I want to control the situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this other one off and make them wait. They're making them wait because they want control of the scenario. But I'm telling you, you're dealing with somebody who's weak. Okay? It's unfortunate. This person is trying to control the scenario and is ungrateful for you. So I'm glad that you're not putting any effort into this anymore. I'm glad you're not trying to manifest this anymore. Because you're literally, you're like, I'm so glad you're not manifesting this. I, I, I really, truly am. I'm, I'm super proud of you. Because you must have put a lot of time and effort into this person. Because this person at this point still thinks they have control over the scenario. They still think you're wait that you're waiting on this person. Little do they know that you're not. 
So that must make you feel a little better if, if you're the woman in this scenario or the man. But if you're this person in the scenario and not the other person that doesn't want to open up, that must make you feel a little better. Okay, because this one is still playing games when you already stepped out of the games. Okay. So, and what if this person wants to try to come in again and here comes the conflict and all this stuff, but they want to talk about the same shit. They're angry about the same shit. Or they're going to bring something to your attention that you've already talked about umpteen times. You see what I'm saying? So, some of you got to cut your losses. All right. And to me, this I sometimes love is is not enough. If the if the universe keeps offering it, it's because it's true love. But I'm telling you, I'm super proud of whomever stopped trying to manifest this and put effort into this because you're not playing games. This person is still still thinks you're waiting on them, and some of you might be, but a majority of you are not. Because it's like they're waiting to take action or they're waiting on you to take action with the Queen of Wands over here reversed, but you're not the way it's all looking. And then it's looking straight up like this. Look at how it's looking. Okay. Like waiting on this one to take action, but you're no longer taking action or putting effort into it. And when you're looking up at my other cards, this is what my other cards look like. So it's like, I can't see. Where's my king? Wait, this way. You know what I mean? And now this one's looking up. You know what I mean? Like... Like, he's still waiting. He thinks you're still waiting for him. Or he's waiting on you again. So this is what I'm saying with trying to control the situation. He's controlling the situation with silence. Straight up silence. This is how he's trying to control it. By not saying nothing. Because he's detached. Okay? And I don't think it has anything to do with you. And I think a majority of you figured that out. So, yeah, see, look at the bottom of the deck. This, this person is, is not, not opening up, not, not investing, not investing any time here. None. Okay? None. So, I mean, I understand that might be true love, Okay. But this person's still trying to control a situation. This person thinks they still have control over a situation. When you stopped putting effort into this, you, you're not putting action into this. You stopped manifesting this. At one point, you were manifesting this. And look at all, look at what you were given. The, you are, the Queen of Pence is nurturing. Okay, she's, she gives it all. Okay, like. She can offer all of it, and and you and you were trying to manifest it, like you were trying to nurture this. You were you were you you were grateful that you found this person, and you tried hard to manifest this. Okay, and I'm so glad you stopped because this person still thinks you're waiting on them. They're still physically playing games while you stepped away. Now, considering it's true love. Obviously, you still got feelings, okay? So I, I want you to be real careful if this if this may come into play for some of you, okay? Because this is definitely your scenario. So with this deck, real quick, I am going to get the best information, the best... Um, like the best information I can get you for my for the woman, okay? Um, just real quick, any guided advice for the for the woman, this Queen of Pence that it was capable of giving it her all, okay? Yeah, see, like some of you, you're, you're still losing your minds over it. See, some of you are still invested. You're not. That's because I was just saying it. it it's true love, okay? But it's like don't. Don't you dare. All right. Yeah. The best thing is what they're saying right now is, you know, as, as best advice. I don't even know how it would, like, temper your mind, temper your emotions if this person's thoughts are with, uh, with you right now. Okay. Like, it's almost like conditioning. Okay. So it's almost like somehow 
somehow you got a glimpse of their energy or you you felt an, a, a glimpse of their energy, this is their energy, okay? Because the conditioning is reversed. You are Your best advice is, is, is stay away from this. Stay away from this because it's going to put you in that, that like, mind again. Like, ah, like, this person you're dealing with can't break conditioning, okay? Like, that's what they're saying, too. Like, this person can't break that, all right? Like, best advice, best advice. You already broke conditioning, okay? There's, there's no way that this is your mind, okay? Um, it's just you got... You got the void, all right. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna know what to do. But here, you're not trying to control this. You left it up to the ethers. You're not trying to control this situation anymore, okay? So it's not really advice. It's just kind of telling me exactly where you're at. You're gonna have to use your intuition here, ladies and gents, okay? Because it's not giving me advice like that. It's what well, it's basically saying: don't, don't lose your mind. Like the, it, it's the way it's looking over here, like. Yeah, yeah, if this person comes back in, your best advice is don't don't go back into conditioning. You already broke it, okay? It, it's going to stir. It's going to do this to you. It's going to rattle you, okay? I'll put it that way. And, but it's like you all, don't try to control this situation. I don't know if this person's coming in wanting a clean slate because of the read I did earlier. Because normally it's a void. But don't try. Your best advice would be don't try to control the situation. You already broke through conditioning. You already saw your way out of this pattern. You already you already saw your way out. Okay. Um, best advice for the, the emperor. The king of swords. The, the king of cups. You know what I'm saying? Like this person that they took. They took you for granted, the queen of the queen of pence for granted. They, I mean, you were you were offering it all. You were trying to manifest this too. That's how much love you have for this person. Okay, they have trust issues. They don't know how to open up. They don't know how to take a leap of faith. They don't trust it. Why? Because they're they're detached. Okay. I don't know. We got a breakthrough. So I, that's what I'm saying. But I don't, I didn't see death come up on this board once. I didn't see one effing transformation. So is this talking about the past and this person had a breakthrough? I don't know. It, it doesn't look that way to me. All right. So don't try to control this situation. Okay. When it comes back around, if it comes back around, this person, I don't think it's coming back around, but might, might try to come back around if I'm, I'm bringing it up to you. Or it's just good for you to know that you stepped away, okay? Because you're still dealing with somebody who's trying to control the situation through silence. That's horrible. That's a horrible way to try to control a situation. It, 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 it is weak, okay? Um, because they don't want to open up, all right? And that's, and that's that. I might piss some people off with this read, okay? I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Um, flowering. All right. It looks like this person's going through a transformation. Yeah. See, they got friends on the outside. It, it, it boils down to conditioning and politics. All right. Is this person going to be brave enough to take an adventure type thing? You know, they're wearing a mask. They're lying to themselves. They they got love for you. They know that you're not dealing with somebody that's stupid. All right. You're dealing with somebody who's immature. All right. Because they're still playing games. All right. I, I wouldn't want to play... I wouldn't want to play Ma and try to fix this. I, I why? You're already you're already the queen of pence. Why? You already nurtured this. You were already offering it all. Okay? You were already trying to manifest this because you felt that love. All right? I am so glad. I'm so proud of you that you're putting no effort into this. You you're no longer trying to manifest nothing. You literally stepped away. Okay? Like you just you did. All right? This person you're dealing with, lazy, lazy, okay, so, <sighs> tell me about this queen of pence real quick, all right, this person, I don't know who this for, somebody doesn't want to compromise, okay, and this queen of pence, look at the burden, she laid it down, it's reversed, she laid the burden down, 
All right. Like I said, but I understand. I understand there's a lot of love, but you laid it down. Why? Because there was no harmony. All right. It didn't make you happy anymore. All right. So I, I'm super proud of you. I mean, it, that, I mean, there's no way, there's no way that this made you happy. And at the bottom of the deck, we have projection. So this is, this is how strong your connection is. You're probably dreaming about this person too. Okay. You guys, if, if you're starting to feel this person right now, it's because of your strong connect. So don't let it get the best of you. This is what this was saying. You broke through conditioning. Don't let this get the best of you. So now this makes sense. This is the best advice. You broke through the conditioning. Don't let it get the best of you. Okay. Don't try to control the situation. Like you you already moved on. You, you have a blank slate. Okay. Don't try to control the situation. It makes complete sense now. Okay. This person that's lazy. All right. Because it straight up came like straight, straight up came like this. Like lazy. I'm not comp I, I'm not compromising. All right, I, I'm gonna be lazy, and this person, you know, is having trust issues. And are they gonna have a breakthrough? Maybe with flowering, there's a good chance. But the, the, there's also stuff on the outside right now. Okay, there's, and I didn't even see this one on their side, clinging to the past. All right, but I already knew that with other cards. All right, but they don't. I don't know if they're gonna take this adventure. I was like, where those cards go? Okay, so you laid, you laid the burden down already, which which is great, okay, because it was no longer making you happy, but that's just it, like, you're dreaming about this person, and what's happening, or vice versa, this person obviously knows how to work with energy, okay, it's, you're feeling this person right now, okay, so if you're negative right now, and you're feeling heavy, this person's negative, they're feeling heavy, it's, you guys are exchanging energy, and you don't even realize it, okay, this, but this person it is still trying to manipulate a situation. So so not only is this person trying to control the situation through silence, this person is now trying to manipulate your energy. Okay, so this is like a triple whammy. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm super proud that you already stepped away, but the fact that they're telling you, telling me you already laid the burden down because it just wasn't making you happy. It was just, you couldn't put the effort into it anymore because you're better than that. Okay, you came first. And not that you're better than the other person, you're just better than letting the energy get the best of you, okay? Like, you became one, you became whole again, but the fact that they're telling me with their projections and their dreams, all that, that this person's going to try to come back, okay? Eventually, they're going to try to definitely make their way back, but as of right now, I'm telling you, it, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a tough, it's a tough scenario because you're not putting action into it, and this person's literally like, why? 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 Why is she not putting action into it type thing? You know what I mean? You're, you're literally dealing with the emperor that the refusing to heal, okay, is, is losing their patience, okay, with the king of cups, okay, which is arrogant, okay? The, this person, it, it, like, took you for granted, but it, it also looks like, and I was saying the death card didn't come out, but, like, with the other cards that were coming, I don't know if this person is going through a transformation now. So you're going to have to use your best judgment, okay? I don't... You laid this burden down, so... That's on you guys. I, I don't... What's that expression? Don't kill the messenger, okay? Um, so I'm literally going to label this um, to whom it may concern, because... That's the reality of the situation, okay? Um, and if you're the person that's still trying to co control the situation through through not breaking silence and opening up and telling somebody how you feel, um, I really, truly wish you the best on your journey, okay? And for the, the other person um, that stopped putting effort in and laid the burden down, I I'm super proud of you, okay? Because you faced a lot of demons. Um, it doesn't mean there's, there's not mutual love here. But it's not an even exchange of energy. There's no synergy here. Okay. So use use your best judgment if this person comes back around. And I, 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 I wish no matter what side you're on. The, the, the best. The, truly the best for, for the both of you. I, I hope that you both heal properly. I, I hope that the transitions are smooth. I, I just, I wish you the best. I truly do. Okay.